create everything. All right, guys. So last time what we did was we targeted our list of our list items here so that we get the correct data. Now what we want to do is make it so that we can switch our F temp here between Celsius and Fahrenheit. So the way I did it was I used jQuery. And basically what I did was I targeted the F temp on a click function and I created a variable that would switch between true or false essentially. So um, we'll just go ahead and create up here. I create this variable called temp swap and I just set it equal to true. And then right here uh, we're gonna target our F temp. Now the reason that this is displayed is because of this, uh, I, I just wanted, because we're going to be doing an on-click function, we want this to pre-populate with something. In this case, it's going to be Fahrenheit. That's all. So we're just going to say targeting F temp. When someone clicks it, we're going to run a function. that does some stuff. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to say if our temp swap, that's what is keeping track of this, true or false, is equal, equal to false. What do we want it to do? We want it to output uh, the Celsius temp. So, in this case, handle F temp, Oops, excuse me, so again, we're going to target our F temp, and we're going to say output C temp. Now, C temp is our Celsius temp variable, and then we're just going to go ahead and set temp swap, temp swap equal to true. And then we're just do a simple else statement. It says else. What we want to do is we want to target our hashtag F temp. And we just want to go ahead and set that HTML to F temp. So this is going to be when it switches over on the next click, essentially. And then in this case, we're going to set it back. Temp swap is equal to false. And this is so that we can keep switching back and forth between variables. So you notice that it's in Fahrenheit. We click it. And it's not working. Alright, so it looks like I have to actually have this triple equals to make sure that it's checking this boolean. I think otherwise it just checks if it's a string. Something along those lines. So now when we click on it. Save it. It'll switch back and forth between Celsius and Fahrenheit. And so what we'll do next is we'll clean this up a little bit. So we'll probably modulo off the end or we'll uh, throw some formatting on it so that we know which one's Fahrenheit and which one's Celsius. After that, we'll turn this into a button so it's not so clunky to click on. And then we'll also display these as buttons as well and probably do some units and maybe even wind direction for this. So I'll see you guys in the next video.